Welcome into the Beat Sessions, your place for all things music. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Let's talk about this new record from Yonzi, entitled First Light, that was released on August 30th. This is the fourth solo outing for him, and his follow-up to 2021's Obsidian. That album cover is gorgeous, and I think it's a pretty big hint as to what this experience is all about. This project originally developed for a video game, and Yonzi talks about how the goal was to imagine this utopian place where society, you know, right now, and pretty much throughout history, let's just be honest, in a state of turmoil, uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice thought, obviously. It's where you get, you know, novels like Utopia, Sir Thomas More, and all the utopian literature that's been put out. It's also the inspiration for the dystopian literature that you see. But I love the the celebration of the pastoral as well. You get this very cinematic experience that all instrumental. And I mean, it really takes you right there. He does a very fine job of, of putting you in a, in a unique place while you're enjoying this experience. And it's certainly a mood piece. It's not something that I think you can just throw on any time. I feel like you have to you know, really like be in the mood to just like sit down and take this in. It's worth it. It's worth the, the effort to, to dissect it and to really enjoy the nuance. Uh, there's so many different elements as far as, you know, the piano that's at play in many of these tracks, the string component, uh, you know, so many nice moments where you just get like big soaring strings. And this is, you know, this is a guy that you think about Sigur Rós and you think about the rest of his career uh, teaming up with Alex and the other stuff that he's done. Uh, the man, you know, it's, it's his style. It's what he likes to do. And so, I mean, 49 minutes, 14 songs. And I just, uh, I think that it's, it's difficult to, to do this. It's difficult to make instrumental music, I feel, that's engaging in album form, especially from start to finish. But I think that, you know, being the talented songwriter that he is, this is a, a fine example of of really coming up with a nice concept that plays out well. And the other thing I love, and I've talked about this before, reviewing instrumental pieces, song titles are so important. And I really like the way that many of these track titles uh, do a nice job of just simply identifying what it is that Yonzi is trying to to convey to you, and then and, and that's the beautiful thing about it too. It, there's like a a simple foundation, right? Just like a, an idea, a seed, and then as you listen to the track, you know that seed it grows differently for all of us. And I think that uh, he does a, a really nice job on this record uh, with that element of as well. The song titles "Flicker" is your opening track. Since open, uh, almost like uh, almost like a bird call. It's kind of an interesting. Uh, uh, element there, in addition to uh, actual bird calls as well. Um, second Twinkly Synth creates the focus of this song, and I really just like the way that that drives it, soft textures build in, playful, playful instrumental that builds, and uh, the string uh, element in the coda is just absolutely gorgeous on this opener. Enjoyed that. Leads into your second song, First Light. Title track has got a simple, soft piano. The strings that build in behind, um, you know, really nice. And I really like the the symbols that are at work. Uh, soft textures increase on this and in intensity uh, to a soft crescendo. And then you get these like soft driving drums. The percussion element's really unique. And especially, like I think about the history that he has in Sigur Rós and, you know, they've they've lost their their former drummer. But if you listen to those early records, just the big driving drums, it was a massive part of their sound, I'd argue. And it's just, I, I thought that, you know, listening to this and, and noticing that contrast, uh, I mean, the, the percussion is, is really nicely done, though. I think it's very complimentary of these compositions. And it's, uh, you know, production on it's great. It's just all really nicely put together. Um, and then, uh, yes, the, uh, that particular track, it fades into this, like, abstract electronic coda to finish. Green Meadow is your third song. It sounds exactly like, like I said, uh, what it's trying to do. Um, got these ambient atmospherics, just so cinematic. And yeah, it's almost just like you can close your eyes and listen to this, and Yonzi will take you there. It's really well done. Minimal piano that just carries this track. It's quite, quite pretty. 
Clearing is your fourth song. Similar vibe to Green Meadow and, you know, great song title as well. Slow ambient build to about, I'd say close to three minutes in this song. And you get this soft percussion with lush strings that build out. And then uh, it just goes into a big old jam. It's really uh, a nicely done song. Cherry Blossom, your fifth track. Pretty piano with light melodies. Uh, really just uh, the piano element is going to build around these twinkly synths. And it's a playful and fun, super cool track. In Plain View, your sixth song. Get more of those soft, twinkly keys, strings that swell, and uh, soft textures that are going to build in to, to create really nice ambience and just a, a, a solid mood in this particular track. Wishful Thinking is your seventh song. Strings are interesting in this. Like To open, they feel ominous, but there's this immediate turn almost. Um, the melodies shift to this brighter feel. Simple Piano is going to take over. Nice minimalism in this particular track. And, uh, you know, there are there are great moments, many great moments where, you know, Yonzi chooses not to necessarily fill out uh, a song with, you know, textures and, you know, he'll let just a certain instrument ride. And I think those moments of minimalism on this album are great. Forest Trill is your, uh, excuse me, Forest Trill is your eighth song. Pulsating synth with simple, uh, it's kind of like a vibraphone element. Um, some bird noises, synths that fill out and they build with intensity to this crescendo and then uh, it just mellows out in the back half to finish. Undercurrent, your ninth song, probably the best track on this record. This song is, I think this song is amazing. It's got ambient open, strings build in, this moody piano works in as well. It's quite gorgeous. Soft percussion finds its place in the track and it's uh, just uh, another uh, excellent experience moving towards the back end of this thing. And I definitely like the way I feel like, you know, there's moments of of percussion that drive tracks early on, but I feel like you're getting more of that element that takes over as you move towards the back of this album. Willow is your 10th song, vibrant strings with light production. Volume builds along with those strings. Really like the way that that's done. Uh, great textures and uh, soft percussion that builds in on that song as well. Stillness is your 11th track. The piano brilliantly captures the title of this track. This song, it, this might be the most aptly titled song. Another one where just listen to it and close your eyes and you just, you feel that. You just feel the stillness. It's absolutely brilliant. Incredibly cinematic. Uh, and again, a nice moment of minimalism there. Uh, Flowerette is your 12th song. Big strings to open, synth textures built in for a captivating feel on this track. Electro percussion is excellently done on this one as well. Over the Fence is your penultimate track. Pulsating, minimal synth. You get light textures that swim in and out of this song. Uh, soft driving percussion that leads to a slow build. And this thing finds its uh, peak for a minute or so towards the back end. And then Coda mellows out to lead into Flutterby. Or Flutter B, Flutter, Flutter B, Flutter by, Flutter Bly. We're going with Flutter Bly. Uh, <laughs> sci fi pulsating synths, uh, string textures. Uh, it finds this quiet space halfway through the track that's really unique. And then the music hits back in. But this is a big old song to finish. It's a, a very pretty piece as well. I, you know, this is, this is not going to be, again, something that you can just throw on at any given time. And I think that's important because it's worth the time, like I said. I'm uh, going to give this thing a 7.1 out of 10. It really just, in, again, enjoyed that cinematic pastoral experience. The the place that Yonzi takes us all with this record. Uh, the way that he, again, he guides us basically to the gate and, uh, you know, gives you that seed. And you close your eyes and just, you know, let your, let your mind do its own thing. It's my favorite thing personally about instrumental music and uh, looking forward to getting this on wax as well. We're going to vinyl please it. Hope you enjoy this record. Hope you find this review helpful as well. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, do all the things to help me blow this project up in 2024 and stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. Check out the new live show classic wax on Monday mornings at 7 a.m. Pacific standard time. It's 10 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you next time on the beat sessions.